Okay, so basically, there is a big like TikTok drama going around um, covering two girls, two individuals. Mm -hmm. One girl, her name is Nina, and the other person's name, this girl named Dora Kami. So basically, what happened was um, Nina is a 19 year old from from New York, like from the Bronx, you know, like from like from the hood, basically. Yeah. Made in New York, bitch. The fuck were you from? Ohio? That's what I thought so. Shut the fuck up. Her her entire tick, she had a big TikTok account with a lot of followers, and her content basically <coughs> made up of her just doing like just like whack, just really funny stuff. Go suck. What's up? Suck my dick. What's good, bitch? Suck my. But the the the, the twist. Like the big thing that kind of just like made it really pop off was that she had this like kind of put accent, like this black accent, sort of, you know. Man, let me tell you something. Suck my dick. I've always been sound like this bitch. What's up? What? So she, she's an Asian girl, she's Chinese, but she 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 was talking like she was from her, from the hood, you know. Okay, okay. But in reality, she grew up in the in the Bronx in in New York, you know, with with um you know, growing up surrounded by predominantly you know like black people, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, everybody knows that um, you kind of adapt to, like, your surroundings. Like, if I, for me, I'm Korean. I was, I, I'm fully Korean. I grew up in Korea, but I spent the majority of my teen years in Canada. So I naturally just adapted to a white accent, you know? Yeah. And same with the, the Nina girl. She, she's born, she's probably born in China. She's Asian. But she grew up in the Bronx, in the hood, so with predominantly black people around. So she obviously adapted that same accent and, you know, she's talking like she's black, you know? All right, yeah. So basically, um, yeah, so this girl named Boba Kami, she's another Asian girl, <coughs> Asian creator on TikTok. And she called out Nina, the, the, the Asian, like, ratchet girl, for, like, having a forced black accent. Like, oh. She's basically saying that... Like, yo, you're Asian. And if you're Asian, you have to talk like you're from the fucking suburbs. Like, you cannot pretend to have a black accent when in reality, like, I'm not forcing my accent right now. This is who I am, you know? And this is the exact same situation for Nina, where she grew up in a Bronx surrounded by black people. So she is going to talk like she's black, you know? But this yeah. old family girl was ca calling her out. She's, she's talking about how, you know, she's forcing her accent and talking about this thing called AAVE. And you know how um, how you can only talk black if you're an African American. She's she's categorizing this ghetto accent to only black people, which is actually a a, a backslap because she's like she's trying to be like this white savior. Um, but in reality, she's like she's stereotyping this ghetto accent to black people only, which in itself is fucking racist. No. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> so there's a lot of people. what's your what's your point of view on that, Ryan? Honestly, um, let me let me let me interrupt you for one second. The yeah. the Nina girl from New York, she got her account banned because oh. she's, she's talking hood apparently. Um, and the other girl, the the Boba Kami girl, that's calling her out. She is like she's bro. She's getting death threats. Like like what do you what do you think about that? Honestly, bro, I feel like for us to have a point of view would be kind of unfair because we don't know the situation. Like you said, the girl's from the Bronx. Maybe her literal accent is that she can't change it, right? And there, and the girl's wrong, the other girl who got, uh, who's getting death threats. Her name and is maybe she's right, you know? You never know. Um, maybe the girl's trying so hard to be someone she's not. And, you know, the girl called her out. And, yeah, it, it could be anything. And I feel like um, as just uh, viewers, we're really uh, fast to jump to conclusions. And the media really helps that because they're like, they want um, coverage, I guess you could say. And so, like, I feel like we just got to, I get, I guess it's just um, point of view. Right, right, right. So I want to ask you something. Are you yes. forcing your accent right now? Me? No, I really don't have another accent. This is how you talk, right? Exactly, yeah. So you're like, I have, I have another point. What, if, like, what, what, okay, what, what would your reaction be if I came up to you and I was like, yo, you have to talk in, in, in a Brampton or in a brown accent? Or you like can't, a fallback accent. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you're forcing, you're forcing your accent, and I called you up. Yeah, like, why are you trying to be white? What, like, why are you trying to be white? Be brown. Have a fob accent. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty pissed, honestly. Because mm -hmm. that's who I am. I was raised in Canada. I was raised in Brampton. I don't need to have a Brampton accent. Mm -hmm. I guess that's, that's basically my point of view. Anz, Anz, what is your point of view? I, I definitely agree with Ron. So essentially, I don't even think it, it matters on where you're born and raised. It's essentially the culture you accept as a child, right? Exactly. So, so like if I'm brown, right? I'm in Canada, so I will have a more fluent, um, like English accent. But let's say I was raised in like China, let's say, right? Complete opposite part of the world. My my English would be much more different, and like my style of living would be way more different. Right? Like so, the way I speak, the way I carry myself will also be different, right? So it's like saying like Toronto, right? Like just because or Brampton, right? Like there's Toronto slang, right? But just because someone from Brampton is trying to copy Toronto slang doesn't make them forcibly Toronto, right? Maybe they just moved from there or something like that, right? So I don't understand why she's like, oh, she's trying to imitate black people. Like, it's such a backhand thing, like how you said. It's like, so you're trying to essentially call all black people hood, right? So what if, what if, a black, so what if like a black person like is like eloquently spoken, right? Like what's, let's say they had a good education, you know, they attended Harvard. Like I'm going to the extreme, but let's say they went to Harvard. They went to a really good school and they have a very good like accent, a way of speaking, carrying themselves. Like they walk around a suit, they're like a dedicated, like, or like a lawyer or something like that, right? So essentially, she, she essentially called all black people hood in like a matter of what, like two minutes that she spoke. And basically there was a Twitter leaked, but it's a screenshot of the Boba comic girl who, who called out the New Yorker saying um, how basically like, she's like normalized racism against Asians. That's basically what the tweet says. She's like, normal, <laughs> you, we got to normalize racism against Asian people. And <laughs> this tweet what? received a lot of backlash because number one, she's, she's Chinese. And she's a white savior. She's got that savior complex. Like she's, like she's speaking on behalf of other people when she's not part of the community. You know. I mean, can you define what a white savior is? Is that someone who has like privilege okay. and they try to put themselves in other people's shoes? Like, <clears throat> so let, let me let me let me let me explain it for you guys. Rian, do you know what white sa white savior is? I think I'm I'm understanding what it is. Explain. I I, I really. Okay. So in the simplest context. Dating back decades in history, um, black people have been enslaved by white people, correct? Yep. So due to that history, um, white people nowadays, like like Gen Z white people, they they feel this like guilt. They feel this need to speak on behalf of people and like 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 they they have the, they feel the need to be guilt like guilty. Like, and if they feel the need to like speak on behalf of black people, 